Hi everyone, welcome back to another beautiful vlog from Switzerland, the heaven on earth. It was yet another beautiful day. As usual, we had our breakfast from the hotel and on that day we had a trip to Hedyland and Liechtenstein. You will get to see more in this video, so keep watching. The bus starts from the bus point at 11am but we need to report there 15 minutes earlier and we had already found out how to take the train ticket to the stop and such but still not to get late we started from the hotel as soon as we finished our breakfast here yeah, the breakfast starts from 6 so i think we had our breakfast around by 6 37. right now we are at the train station and um, the stop is i'll state in Today we have a trip to a different village. It's in a different country, so we are really excited. It's a guided uh, tour. We have to report around at 11, but no, the trip is at 11 o'clock, but we have to report at least by 10.45 because they take from here sharp at 11. So we need to be there by 10.45, but we got out a bit early. And um, yeah, so see you with updates from the village. I don't know what else they'll be showing us. We are just waiting for our train. All three days we have guided trips. So it's good. So this is our train coming. We used the day pass which once taken we could use for 24 hours up and down. So it's easy for us since we use train at this point of time and we could use the same while returning back at night. You just have to check the platform number and the name of the train that's arriving. There are multiple trains stopping at the same station. So there's no worry of missing a train. You can catch the next train in a few minutes. So we are at the railway station, the main railway station, Zurich HP. And now we are going towards our bus stop. there somewhere is our bus stop it's actually at 11 o'clock and it's only 9 15 now so we thought to take a walk in the street it's fall season now it's cold and it's lovely it was a beautiful bright sunny day and it was still cold the weather was excellent especially to roam around and take pictures as we have enough time without of taking few photos here unless it's written the water from the fountains you see everywhere it's safe to drink Here the fallen leaves looks very relaxing to the eyes. We took few pictures from here and now it's time to leave back to the bus stop. So we are moving towards that. Just waiting for my sister-in-law to come. Just a cup of coffee and then we got into the bus. So right now we are inside the bus and it's 10.57. In 3-4 minutes, they'll start from here. Thank you very much. Your tour includes a mini city tour. In between, I got a video call from home but couldn't talk much as the line was getting disconnected. So just had a few words with my husband and kids. So that's the old town. That's the statue of a military leader, Hans Wallmann, on a horse. This is Lake Zurich. It's almost 40 km in length and has stunning views from the city. That's the opera house you can see there. Now on this line you can see many universities. 
that green top one that's a church there from monster church i guess i'm pronouncing it right it's one of the main churches in zurich so many buildings with beautiful architectures that's lake zurich again you can see the beauty of it over here Then we approached Rappersville. It's called the town of roses. We stopped at this location and was taken towards the top. The guide had explained about the church, its history, its architecture, and many such. The church you can see at the top of the, the entrance of the church there is a cross, a cement cross. That means that's a Catholic church. We moved towards the top and what a lovely sight it was for the eyes. We got to see the Lake Zurich again and we took pictures of each other. The group and guide was very friendly and all were really cooperative. See how beautiful the location is. It's very, very beautiful. This is Lake Zurich. I told you 42 kilometers, 28 and a half miles with the lake. Then we got into a restaurant as it was lunch time. We had few snacks in our bag but definitely wanted to try something Swiss. Our guide had suggested few options. One among that was what they call it cheesecake but in fact it's quiche which is not the usual sweet cheesecake that we think. This is quite filling and fair on the price. So we ordered one quiche and one soup both vegetarian. Soup was amazing. The quiche had a bit too much cheese in it which weren't of our type but a trial is always needed. So we are getting back into the bus. Now our next stop was to a very small country between Austria and Switzerland. What I thought was that it's called Liechtenstein but it's actually pronounced Liechtenstein. It is a very small country with a population of less than 40,000 people. Because of the size, they don't even have an airport. The nearest airport, I guess, is Zurich and you need to travel by train or bus to the country. But the prince of this country is one amongst the world's wealthiest monarch. The capital is Vaduz and we are going there. If you pay some dollars, they actually get your passport stamped, but we didn't go for that anyway. On the way to the country, just took few clips of the stunning landscapes and mountains. I don't think my camera lens was enough to capture the beauty because my eyes had much more powerful lens. Unfortunately, I can only speak about the beauty. Finally, we are in Liechtenstein. There were a few shops that we could go in and look for what we could buy. I got a souvenir. In fact, I collect souvenirs from wherever I go. Then it was time to leave to our next destination, that's Haiti village. There's actually a story about an orphan girl, Haiti, and it was written by Joanna Spiri, I think it's pronounced right. It was about this famous Swiss girl Haiti, and hence it's called Haiti Dorf or Haiti Land.
So this is Haiti village and we are on the way with our tour guide. She's there at the right in the front. It was getting pretty cold. That's Hedi's summer house and this is the winter house. You need tickets to go in and check out. Yes, I don't. I've I've never skied. I've never been skiing. You like skiing? I've never done it. Oh, On okay. snow, never. <laughs> never snow. You don't have uh, skiing in Florida? In Florida? Oh no. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. No, no. Uh, skiing is Colorado, Vermont, New Hampshire, mm -hmm. Maine, all the way up north. You know, bordering Canada. Because uh -huh. you need a lot of snow. They have nice Vail, Colorado is the one of the top three. Wow. Look at those people there, but they There's a shop there where you could buy storybooks if you're interested. Look at the beautiful view. I don't know if you can hear, but I can hear a lot of cowbells. I don't know from where it is, but it's really lovely to hear the cowbells. So we are moving back and today's trip is over. So this was the last stop and that's our bus waiting there. Now we'll be back to the bus station and then we'll be back to the room. Okay, so see you from the room. There are a lot of apples on the tree and lots have been fallen on the ground. Really lovely. And that ends today's video. Hope you liked it. See you with another beautiful vlog from Switzerland. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.